Hello. This is a view of my current setup. It's like a play area where I can just pose my dolls and, you know, have them interact with the furniture and props. So I've cleared this portion of my craft room. Uh, this is my crafting desk where my laptop currently is. And this is where I like to have them displayed. It's right by the window and that's my bamboo plant. Uh, I'm sorry if the lighting's really bad. Um, it doesn't look that great from what I'm seeing on the on the camera, but oh well. Um, here's starting on the left side. Here's my little filing cabinets. Um, only only this top portion contains folders and they're empty. I still need to um, tackle a giant pile of magazine clippings and newspaper clippings and sort through that and get them all filed in here. Um, here is one of my little jewelry drawers. I've begun collecting a ton of them um, for furniture. It's like a wooden set of drawers with gold corners and I really like these like inset gold um, poles right here. Um, and they're pretty deep and big too. There's a lot of storage. Here's some extra hands. Oh, sorry, this is my doll's scarves and hats because they shouldn't be wearing that indoors. This is new. Um, I was out with a friend and we saw this at the bookstore. It's a cute, adorable little clock. Um, I'm thinking of uh, removing the clock and replacing the face so it looks more like, you know, that black and white background. I'm going to replace that with something more Art Deco-ish and maybe paint the twin bells here, paint those gold as well. I think I'll be able to remove that. We'll see. That's for another day. Um, here on the floor is the carpet. Here's a little chest that I need to also alter and make all antique-y. Uh, here's the camera obscura. It's open because um, I've got a visitor. Gunner my mini femur is only here because he wants to take a look at the camera obscura and play with it. Um, we keep that in this little chest. Next to the set of drawers is my little man my little bleh, my little grandfather clock. It's a little shorter than Milton. Milton's head comes right up at the top, so the clock face is lower than Milton's own line of sight, but that's okay. My favorite part of it is that it just it is just beautifully worn, and I love the style of the clock face and the clock hands, the little finial at the top. But the best part is was I got this, and I thought this was actually filled with actual clock mechanisms, but it's not. It's got a latch here. It's a door, and there's two shelves that I can store items in. So I've got two of my books. Um, I'm using the stone owl as a bookend. There's some bottles, the gas lamp, the little trinket box from Italy, the necklace from Italy, Thirxy's magnifying glass. He's not he's not here now, so we've been storing that away. And I need to put a handle here on the front right there. So I'm I really love and I love that a lot. Here's the desk that I've made recently, and I've got Adley and Judd are sitting here because, uh, well, Judd's drawing and Adley's gonna be working in her notebook. Although, <laughs> Judd's stolen some papers out of a case file, which is not the best thing, but hopefully they don't get caught. Oh, actually, here's Adley's magnifying glass. We'll put that out of the drawer, onto the desk. Some books. I've got a tin of Judd's little colored pencils there. There's Milton's reading glasses, the pens. Here at least got our notebook. Um, I added that little green paper to the folder and some stickers. So that's the that's the floral notebook that I made the other day. Um, Judd is sitting on these like tiny pedestals. And I was thinking of turning one into an ottoman, but it's kind of short. I need to find feet and somehow get some padding on the top to make up, you know, a more 
convincing looking ottoman. Um, here's a little tin of papers, the papers that he, this guy, that this guy should be drawing from, but he's now he's using the wrong papers. And over here is the sort of like china cabinet display. I want this to be part of the antique store, but I've just got all my props together for now. Um, there's all the little trinkets and items, astrolabe that I made, the cameras I made. Um, I've got these really cool metal uh, miniatures. There's a coffee grinder here and there's a meat grinder that actually like has a spinning mechanism in the inside. Here's my um, cathedral radio, the telescope that I made. It can come off the stand. Little set of drawers, more drawers here. And here's Milton and Gunner. Um, they've just returned from outdoors. So he's trying to take off his coat. He's also swatting away Milton who's trying to help him. Um, and also Gunner's trying to prevent Milton from taking away his cap. Oh no. I wish I hadn't posed them here because I really wanted to show you my newest um, set of drawers which has this beautiful um, rose painted on both doors. I wonder if I can open this without... I can't see inside, but there's, um, more drawers in there. I guess I'll show it to you some other time. And please excuse this mess. That's all the books in progress. And over oh, here, I found this. It's a little wooden spindle. I think it was for... I forgot what they told me it was for, but... I... I want to use it to make a coat rack. I just need to elevate it higher so that it's about Milton's height and then I would stick some hooks into it so that it could hold all their jackets. Because um, unfortunately, here's someone we haven't seen in a while. Here's the doll formerly known as Xerxes. He's been turned into a new character and he's going to get his own video for that, hopefully. But for now, he's holding one of the trench coats for me. So he's my coat rack, just for right now. And here is my new project. Um, well, it's a project I've, I'm gonna put on hold for now. It's a roll top um, vanity box. And it's, it's just amazing. Um, I was talking to Amy G on Instagram and when I was mentioning that I wanted a more traditional looking desk and she mentioned a roll top and I had browsed like pictures for inspiration but there, I thought there was no way I could find something and when she mentioned roll top I went back with a vengeance and searched and searched and I found this it's just I had to do like a lot of gutting um, this is gonna be removed I think as well I have no idea how it's going to I need to put legs on it that's that's for like a whole nother day because that's gonna take a long time um, so yeah, that's what I've got so far for them, and it's just really fun, even though it's not complete, it's all jumbled together, but this is, this is fun. I love having a little play area for them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll keep updating you as I keep adding more stuff and making new things, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!